Okay. Oops, good morning. Um, <clears throat> hopefully the mic's working. Uh, here we are, final game of the year. And it, I do, uh, it comes down to this because um, if we were to lose this game, there would be a three-way tie between, the, uh, between us, the Dice Fantastics, and the Call of Cthulhu Spectres at 16 and 12. If we lose this game, a three-way tie, and only the top two teams uh, are, are, are going to play for the um, best of seven league championship in our inaugural season of the RPG Cafe League. I don't know what the tie... I think the tiebreakers are um, runs, uh, run differential. As you can see, um, we are plus 15, so it, we would end up... Um, just, unless this game was lost uh, catastrophically by like 42 runs or something uh, I think we're going to be in the top two. Oh, okay uh, we did just lose to the rules Lockhorns again that's how we ended up a game uh, that's how we ended up in this situation because I just lost to the rules Lockhorns 2-1 um, um, to one. <clears throat> sorry not just yesterday uh, so before I made this video, I wanted to uh, get up early this morning to do this, so. We don't have enough money to spend on player development. I don't believe. I haven't uh, double-checked it. I don't think we have enough. Yeah, we do. We could actually do a phone upgrade for Ron. And we're going to do that because it could end up being hugely beneficial for us going into the playoffs. Or going into the championship if we make it to the championship. Damn, he didn't get the plus three contact. But he did improve both his contact and fielding. So Ron, of course, who comes off the bench at a C plus, is improving. And it's important that he does, uh, as my brother may not re-sign with us, um, as his loyalty rating is rock bottom. Okay, so let's go take a look at my team real quick. Um, uh, Todd, of course, doing great. Uh, where's our loyalty? I want to see the loyalty of these guys. Um, you can see the traits we have. Oh, where's loyalty? There it is. So Todd's at 57. David is at 99. So David will probably stay with us or resign with us pretty easily. Rentworthy's a 71. Dell is a 90. So the heart of our uh, uh, infield appears to be, uh, yeah, 99 for our. So our infield is. Very happy. Uh, George Blanchard coming off the bench. Shortstop is unhappy, so I doubt he would come back. Um, Mike, my uh, representation, left field is 77. Freddie, center field 70. And Ron, of course, who's been playing in clutch, uh, pinch hitting, coming off the bench, he's a 70. My brother is a two. I mean, you, I mean, it's he literally. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling it uh, doesn't speak to anyone in the locker room, including my, his, his little brother, me. Uh, and then we got 97 for one of our ace pitchers. We had 85 for uh, our other big pitcher. Jeff is a 98, so I've managed to keep all of my childhood friends uh, uh, close in this uh, league. But my brother and I, obviously, uh, not getting along. Chesty Beal, uh, who's our, who really is our, he's, he's got our... our most of our wins. He's not our best pitcher, but he's got more of our wins. He's at 45, so that's not good. And then we got Hal Morrow at 98 and Jedediah Jang. So well, we're going to get some of these guys back, hopefully. So let's look at no DH, because there isn't a DH in our league. I'm going to go ahead and let the computer decide. Yep, and so I'm going to be leading off, and I have my mojos up right now. Freddie behind me, Camilla, uh, Rentworthy. Wow, so Dell, who'd been at the third spot for a long, long time. He's dropped into sixth here. It must be against this pitcher. Um, and Gonzalez is ready to actually make a uh, upgrade with that. Uh, he's really, his mojo is really on a hot streak. So there you have it. That's where we're at right now, going into the final game of the regular season. And then it will be the top two teams playing in a seven-game series, best of seven, to win the first league title. Uh, again, I had hoped it would be, um, uh, or I had bet it would have been the Game Wardens and, and ourselves, maybe, uh, but the Game Wardens spent most of the season um, with a really good run differential, but could not string together enough wins, and they were in the bottom two or three most of the year. All of a sudden, they had a run, and they did finish exactly where I had predicted they should have been when they were plus eight, plus six, 
they ended up exactly where I thought they should have been most of the season, 500, um, with a chance to make a run for the top two. And unfortunately, it took everything they had just to get to 500. But you can see they have a plus 12 run differential. So the game wardens are very dangerous. Next year might be their year. Uh, Sam, Donnie, and Antoine's team, the Dice Fantastics, they look like they're going to be facing us in the championship because I think it uses run differential for the tiebreaker. So unless I went out right, well, yeah, it must because Dice Fantastics have the same record as Call of Cthulhu, and they're in the top two. So uh, even if we lose this game, we're going to be in the championship. So I could sim this game against the rules law corns, and I may do that and get onto the championship because we do. I think it, it uses run differential, I'm pretty sure. But the game wardens, oh, by the way, let's look at everybody else. Uh, Call of Cthulhu tied with Dice Fantastics. However, the, the run di uh, differential uh, puts the Dice Fantastics in the top two. Uh, the Game Wardens, uh, 500. The Newbie Nightmares, uh, who started really poorly, ended up fighting back at 12-6. and six. The, Nor the North Norsemen, they're the only non-role-playing uh, themed team, um, ended up 12-16. and 16. Uh, A second up from the bottom with a negative 22 run differential. So when they lost, they got their butts handed to them. And the rules, lock horns down there at 11 and 16 with a minus 8. And again, we face them one more time before the championship is set. And I will go ahead and sim that. Let's save ourselves, I don't want to say a meaningless game, but for the most part, it is a meaningless game. If we lose this really badly, uh, that, would, that would thrust the Dice Fantastics into the top spot, which would give them home field advantage in the series. So this is an important game, but at the at, at this rate, as far as the championship, it's meaningless. So we're going to simulate it and see if we can't finally beat them. They beat us uh, twice in a row, I believe. Um, yep, damn. Yeah, they got us 4-3. So we're in a slump going into the last week, and we still ended up with a plus 14, thank God. So we won the title. Uh, even uh, that was a 4-3 game, so we only lost a run differential of one, and we hang in there to get the actual top spot. Old School Grims, the Dice Fantastics, and the Call of Cthulhu Spectres all tie at 16 and 12 record-wise, and Old School and Dice will play in the championship game. So let's go ahead and go around now and look. Now, now that we know, I'm going to make a screenshot of this real quick. Uh, I like to keep records of our history. So there it is. Um, and the North Norsemen. So what, what was good about the rules? Lockhorns beating us in those final three. They launched themselves up into the uh, three up from the bottom. They were at the bottom starting that last game. And they launched themselves up. So the Game Wardens are a team next year. If they get another pitcher, the Game Wardens could be a real threat. Um, so very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and look at league leaders uh, since the season's over. Before I move on to the playoffs, let's look at the league leaders here for our first season, our inaugural season of the RPG Cafe Baseball League. So my player, Rentworthy Gonzalez, uh, is the MVP. How about that? So Rentworthy ended up with MVP. Kylie Dapper, that's a pitcher for the Nightmares, ended up second in the, in the uh, league as a top player, as a pitcher. Uh, betwixt Levine, she, as a pitcher, also uh, third in MVP. Jose came in after after many weeks in the top three. Jose came in fourth in the MVP voting. Uh, ended up with five home runs. So his home run run slowed way down in the second half of the season. As Rentworthy ended up with six home runs. He might have led the league with those six home runs after everything was said and done. Uh, Eloy ended up sixth with three home runs, so Eloy did not get another home run after the initial uh, uh, um, seven games of the season. Unbelievable. Dell, who had been in the top three for a long time, dropped to seven. Uh, he has three home runs, six RBIs. Antoine, uh, so Complex Games Apologist, eighth in the MVP voting. Four home runs, not bad for uh, his Dice Fantastics. Freddie, again, my... Uh, one of my closest childhood friends growing up. Um, Freddie ends up uh, ninth in the MVP voting with eight RBIs, three home runs, and Kai Little for the rules law lockhorns. Unbelievable. Three home runs, nine RBIs. So that's pretty cool. 
All right, let's go ahead and look at batting. So Dell uh, led batting average with Rentworthy on, on our team right behind. David and our team uh, third, and myself, son of a gun. And Freddie, we had a ton of guys in the batting average here. Uh, however, the Game Wardens also had three on the board here. Jose, uh, Eloy, and Finn Tanner. Home runs. And Rentworthy ends up with six. How about that? Uh, Jose with five, second in home runs. Uh, Antoine with four, Donnie with four, Eloy with three, and myself with three. There's going to be a lot tied with three. Uh, runs batted in, Rentworthy with 25 RBIs for us, uh, which tells you we were getting on base, and then he would hammer a home run and bring in multiple runs at a time. Jose with 16, uh, Antoine with 14, Eloy with 11. Now well, look at the game words. They had one, two, three, four, five players. Uh, in the top 10 and runs batted in. So again, they are a big offensive team when their bats are working. Pro Bonilla uh, with 11. And notice there's no icon next to his names, which means they have cut him or they have released him in favor of somebody else on the waiver wire. So a guy with 11 runs batted in is on the waiver wire. That's amazing. Pro Bonilla. Uh, online base percentage, Dell again, so Dell leads, basically Dell leads with batting average and of course on base percentage, which is really the most important statistic in all of baseball is on base percentage. If you don't get on base, you can't score runs, your team can't score runs. Uh, so uh, we have three guys in the top four and that is why we um, have, the, have the league, we're at the top of the tables and going into the first league championship. Uh, Finn Tanner. So on base percentage, uh, only one game warden. This also explains maybe why the game warden struggled this year. Only one of their players is in the top 10 in on base at percentage, which means they're either hitting home runs or they're striking out, right? They're not getting on base. You can't score runs if you don't get on base. Okay, Jose in slugging percentage is third. Dell is second. And Rentworthy, who's a league MVP, is number one for us. And I'm on this board, which is unbelievable. I must have went on a stretch there in some of those sims. Uh, Rentworthy on base plus plugging. This was Dell for a long time, and Dell slipped down to Rentworthy uh, on our team. So we had a battle here among our own players for the on base plus slugging, and Dell slipped below Rentworthy here in the final uh, couple of weeks of the season. Jose's still up there at third, and I somehow climbed the ranks up into the fifth or sixth spot there. Eloy's on this list here as well. Donnie is on this list, and Antoine is on this list, so pretty cool. Hits. Dell had the most hits in the league. Rentworthy was right behind him, so we have the top two hitters in baseball. Jose, again, third. Eloy, fourth. Unbelievable. Freddie and myself. And then David climbed into this uh, for our team. That's fantastic. Uh, extra base hits. Eloy had 11, which means those are home runs. Doubles or triples. So Eloy led the league with 11 extra base hits, which is pretty sweet. Rentworthy, 11. Jose was third on this list. And uh, Donnie's on this list. Freddie, of course. And Karen Kirk of the Wardens is on this list. Strikeouts. V Vigo briefs, 25K. So Vigo uh, has a poor patience at the plate. The Game Wardens have one with 18. Um, but notice Jose and Eloy are not on this list, so they're not why the game wardens are having trouble with on-base percentage, um, as they're not striking out a lot. Antoine's on this list for strikeouts, though, so not great. Uh, run scored, Jose had 14 runs scored. That's pretty sweet, which means guys were batting him in, or he was hitting enough home runs that he got around the bases and scored himself. Dell was also tied with Jose at 14, so Dell and Jose tied with runs scored. Eloy close behind with 12. Freddie with 12, Antoine with 11, and Donnie for the Dice Fantastics, who we're going to face in the championship with 9. Stolen bases. I was wondering, because Jose led the whole season, and Freddie, it's what he does. He's the fastest man on the planet. Uh, he got four. He ended up getting some here late in the season, and he stole the uh, uh, stolen bases title from Jose, finally. And Antoine uh, is third on this list. And uh, not a lot of steals in this league. Interesting. Uh, caught stealing. Antoine also caught twice stealing. Fa uh, Freddie caught twice stealing. 
Uh, pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. So it's, it's a wonderful game. Oh, Anthony ends up the top pitcher in baseball here. Oh, well, the top winning pitcher in baseball with five. On a team that went 500, he won more than a third of their games for them. So Anthony, a rune slinger, ends up leading the league in wins with five. Tied with Kylie, who is the best pitcher in our league. She was second in the MVP, league MVP voting. Kylie with five as well. Sam, Chalice and Chains, comes up third on this list, tied with uh, my pitcher, Chesley Beal. And Lionitis Muscles, my other pitcher. So I have two pitchers with four wins, and Sam is there at the top of that. And then, of course, uh, no other pitchers. Kenyon Yellow on my team as well at the bottom with three. So how about that? Anthony and Kylie end up with five wins for their teams, respectively. Now, Kylie was on a team uh, that has 12 wins, so she won more than half of their wins, which is not more than half, almost half, almost half of their wins came by Kylie. Wow, and Kylie earned one average is phenomenal, 1.21. Uh, Twixt, who is, is the third best pitcher uh, on the MVP voting. Uh, I don't see Anthony here. So Anthony, again, must must have been giving up uh, lots of runs. Saves. The Nightmares, the newbie Nightmares, in it with a, a pitcher with four saves. That's amazing. Uh, my guy, Leonidas Muscles, with two. Uh, Brian still on this list. Stochastic Agency with one save early in the season, and he's still on this list with that one save. But he must not have pitched much this year. Uh, okay, I'm not going to mess around with this. Opponents on base average. Well, of course, Kylie, best pitcher in baseball. And Anthony's on this list, so that's phenomenal. So opponents on base average. Anthony only allows 26% of batters that he faces to get on base. Damn, and above him on his team is Barrett Martinez, only allows 25%. Strikeouts, Jeff is a strikeout pitcher, 35 Ks on this season. Uh, that is more than one strikeout a game. For, now, again, he didn't play in all 28 games, so I don't know how many games he played in. So it might, he should be averaging about five or six a game. Kylie is in the middle of the tables there with 20 uh fantastic and third up strikeouts per okay so jeff gets 13.9 strikeouts per nine innings that's unbelievable and our other pitcher ken yellow gets nine wow and chesty is on that list so we have some strikeout pitchers here walks jeff uh with the lowest walk relate um with chesty sam used to be at the top of this list somehow chest uh sam started giving up walks apparently at some point uh, and Ivan Mike ends up on this list, walking uh, per nine innings, walking two batters uh, per game, basically, is Ivan. That's interesting. Jeff ends up with the best strike-to-walk uh, ratio in the league. Chesty uh, third on this list. And uh, Kenyon Yellow's on this list as well. So we have uh, pretty good strikeout pitchers. And there you have it again. The league MVP in the final after the final game ends up being my uh, cleanup hitter, Rentworthy Gonzalez. Gets that. Uh, I probably, if I was voting, I would have given it to the pitcher uh, Kylie Dapper on a bad team. Um, that's a remarkable outing right there. Uh, Jose had been in the top three most of the year. He slipped in this final week, and Dell, who'd been in the top three or four all year long, dropped to seventh. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Okay, so that brings everybody up to speed on how the season ended, the standings, and the league leaders, who did what. And it will be the old school Grimms facing the Dice Fantastics in the seven-game series. Only one, uh, plus we were uh, only one run better in run differential. So this ought to be in a seven-game series. We might go to seven games. It might take seven games to decide who wins this championship. Um, the season started with us facing Sam's team, the Dice Fantastics, and we shredded them, if I remember right. Oh, no, they actually beat us. That's right. So they beat us in the first game of the year, 3-1. to one. It was the second game uh, that Jeff uh, pitched, and we won it 6-1. to one. And then I don't know if we faced the Dice Fantastics. Yeah, we did. We faced the Dice Fantastics here, and we won by a run. And then we faced the Dice Fantastics on the th week 13, our game 13, and won 4 to nothing. Uh, and then I don't think we faced him again. We did. No, that's the Norseman. Did we face them again? No. So in our season matchups, we faced the Dice Fantastics 1, 2, 
four times, and we were three and one uh, in those games. Uh, if that holds true, we will win this. We will win the first championship uh, uh, in in what five games? It would take five games for us to win the championship if that win percentage holds true. However, I don't think so. I think the Dice Fantastics now are a uh, uh, a much better team at this rate. So let's go ahead and show no DH, and we're going to suggest the lineup. And I'll be leading off. We don't have anybody slumping starting. Uh, we do have uh, Coral, Yellow, and Moro slumping. And, of course, Mason pitching is uh, not slumping. And David is, won't be starting this first game of the championship series. But he is on the verge of actually uh, leveling up there. With a, uh, he's at the top of a plus mojo lead there. So David's about to get a level up, it looks like, David's character. All right, so here we go. I will go ahead and play uh, uh, maybe multiple games here. So this is going to be a long video. If I end up playing the entire series, don't be surprised. This could be a long video to wrap up the entire year. Um, so here we go. We're going to start the playoffs. You made the playoffs. Yes, I did. I won the tables. Uh, wow, here we go. So they're going to come to our house first. So we have home field advantage. We're going to get the first two games, generally in the series, at home, which is a big advantage in baseball. Kenyon Yellow looks like he's going to get the start, uh, which means I think Jeff will probably be in game two. Um, and here we go. Let's go ahead and play this first game. Oh, man, this is exciting. So here it is, folks. The inaugural season's first championship series. Best of seven wins this, folks. And again, we don't have anybody slumping at all now. So in the playoffs, clears our mojo. So nobody's on the rise. Nobody's down. So going into the playoffs, everybody starts even, which is pretty sweet. And uh, here we go. Let's play ball. And hopefully, again, my mic's working. Uh, if not, well, then you just don't get to hear all this nonsense. Welcome to the opening game of the wow. league championship. They are extreme the rotational Super aces, Super and we are power hitters. Um, extreme rotational aces kind of hurts them in short, Simon short Abbott. games. So we're playing four inning games, which very, very often means your bat, your rotational pitchers don't come in as often because it's not a nine inning game where you would see more of your rotation in the game. You can put pitchers anytime you want so if this was a human league you can get those rotational pitchers in at your own but uh, based on uh, wow a strikeout to start the series against Gabrielle Sanford. Sanford I don't know if we faced her last time um, what a great opening go so he's hot right now as he struck out the first batter change up oh that's a bad pitch oh but they got a strike on that well it turns out it was a great pitch oh no so i gotta pay attention now the difficulty is the highest uh and one wow k's the first two batters baseman number 10 taylor so anyway your your bullpen your your pitching staff the shorter the games, the less often you bring in backup pitchers, basically, is what that means. So being extreme rotational team uh, doesn't benefit them a lot unless they purposely bring them in. Uh, as opposed to waiting for pitchers to tire, right? Because in a normal season, they would get fatigued. They would play more. But I would love to K the, uh, all three uh, without giving up a hit here. Got him. Three up, three down. Three Ks in a row for our starting pitcher, Yellow. His mojo was down at the end of the season, but the getting into the playoffs cleared everybody's mojo. So he comes in even and hot uh, because of it. All right, so I'm leaving this off. It's very important here against uh, Jason. Oh, I broke a bat, and that's going to be an out, pop-up out. So I didn't leave this off too hot there. Freddie. Freddie ended up leading the league with stolen bases, four stolen bases, but he was caught twice stealing. Oh, that's a great shot. And 
Freddy has got great wheels. He can turn that into a double. No, go back, go back, go back, go back. Whew, that was close. I almost pushed Freddy. Into it. Do it out there. Base run. Again, you have to field, you have to pitch, you have to bat, and you base run. There is some automation in fielding, some automation in base running, but you can. You have to take control and throw the ball, and you have to finish movement if they if. Uh, if the outfield is running toward the ball, you have to finish that movement, make the catch, make the throw. So you play everything in this game. There is no automation, which is nice. Damn it. So we don't want to leave a man stranded. So Freddie currently stranded on first. All right, the league MVP, Rentworthy, somehow stole this, climbed the tables, took it away from Dell and Jose in the final games. We end up with the league MVP. Now we have to win the title, or it's somewhat meaningless. And we're going to steal with Freddy here. Go, Freddy. Nope. Oh, shit. He caught me stealing. Damn it. So poor Freddy. That's... Ah, uh, see? I teased him on the last one, and he was looking for it, and he caught us. So I'm going to AI. Just turning up the difficulty from, from uh, 30 to 32, the AI... Is that much more active in holding my bat, my, my players at the bases? 101 mile an hour fastball, folks. Yellow is hot right now. Whew. Again, this is the championship series. We're at home. We would love to win the home opener. You don't want to lose the first game of the series. It sets a bad tone. 26. Gage, Arkansas. Nice strikes. Man, I'm really liking Yellow's outing here so far. Oh, shit. Maybe not. Dang it. They got men on first and uh, second. The second baseman, number 76, Eric Rossi. Ah, Eric Rossi. Dice Fantastics, man. Tripping the Dice Fantastic. Oh, beautiful pitch. All right, let's get him on a two-finger fastball. Nope, that has to go foul. Please, God. Yes, it does. Thank God, or that would have been that would have scored runs. Um, uh, you know I'm in the championship when I am uh, praying to the gods for that to be a foul ball. You know it's meaningful to me. Here we go. Oh, get him. Come on, get him. No, he's fighting everything off. Time for a change-up. Let's change the speed on him. See if he can handle the speed change. He can't. Beautiful. He was looking for that fastball. We got him. Center fielder, number five. Fender Barnswell. This guy's an A-minus center fielder. And again, my brother won't be back, so I'll be looking for a center fielder. Um, and uh, in the free agent market, I might go after a guy like this guy right here and steal him away from my guy's fantastic. Okay. I think that's going to end the inning. No! Shoot, we could have no play there. There's Antoine. This is a uh, complex games apologist. Again, I had to use uh, names from the database. Antoine, believe it or not, is not in the database. So I used a different name. And, uh, and then last names, I purposely went. Um, oh, no, I messed that up. That should have been an easy out. They're up, one nothing. So Antoine gets an RBI, damn it. And while I'm talking... And their starting pitcher is an A-plus, Sabine Calhoun. Well, I talked myself into giving up a run there by throwing to the wrong bag. Oh, Dell with a brilliant stop. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, out. Holy cow. See, there, I wish there was a replay there. Are there replays? There's no replays. Are you kidding me? That was unbelievable. Damn, Dell made a diving stop at third and then... Gunned out the runner at first by a hair. That was beautiful because that would have scored another run. Rentworthy, all right, buddy. Let's finish this at bat. Let's get us a run. It's a one nothing dice. Bottom of the second. Oh, home run. Let's tie the game. Rentworthy, the league MVP. Yep. League MVP, opposite post. It's 1 1. Wow, this is brilliant. Brilliant game. All right. Good job, Rentworthy. All right, my brother, who will be a contributor anywhere he goes in the league, he will be a damn good defensive player. He has had a rough year pitching, uh, batting for us, and we have unfortunately somehow alienated him. 
multiple. Uh, hard to believe since we're a winning team, but I obviously alienated him with a couple of uh, manager decisions in the locker room that he didn't like. And uh, I think he's, uh, uh, with too loyalty, there's no way he's going to come back. And we're going to send him. Adele, I'm, I'm, it's a hit and run. Hit and runs on. My brother's going to make it easy. He's going to make it to third. And Dell's going to stay at the post. So Dell gets a hit. Uh, we, put, we called the hit and run. My brother ends up taking two bases, and Dell's a, a safe first. And all we need now is a, a nice hit from Todd, and we might score uh, two runs here. Oh, dang it, he popped up. But my brother could tag up on this and score. Go, 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 Lee. Go, 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 go. No! Oh, double play. They caught him at the plate. That was aggressive. I am being aggressive. I thought my brother could beat that. That was such a high, deep sacrifice fly. I thought my brother could score on that. And Ron has a dribbler, and Dell will get there, but Ron won't. Wow, but it's 1-1, folks. Top of the third. The first game of the series is turning into a damn good game. Ooh. Wow. So David's not playing in this first game. It's Ron with his clutch rating. He did improve some of his stats there with that bonus. And it's a, uh, a lot of times it's based on what uh, arm or what type of pitch you're facing, right here or left here. So Ron ended up getting the start at the first base today. Third baseman, number six, Gabriela Sanford. They're threatening again. We've got a person on base. Oh, no, ball. Balls aren't bad. I don't know why I avoid throwing it, but I like to get Ks. And um, it's risky as much as I throw the ball in their wheelhouse, but I like the pitch being the pitches. Um, I'm not one who likes to just throw a ball. Once in a while, I'll throw a ball and nobody catch him, but, uh, which makes it dangerous for my pitchers because they're, they're making every pitch ultimately hittable. All right, change up, down and away. That is a strike. She caught it again. Man, she is making, she's wearing out my pitcher here. Ah. Yeah, Yellow ain't going to finish the game at this rate with her fouling off pitches. All right, slider. Low and inside, and we got her, and nope, they're going to end up. Lee throws to third, stop that advancing runner. Shoot, and we're in trouble. I don't think we have any outs either, do we? No outs. Runners on first and second. Our pitcher is getting tired. This is going to end up being an ugly, ugly inning for us. Yep. Oh, I don't believe it. They're going to score a run. No, they didn't go for it. They played very conservatively. So the dice fantastic. Oh, shit. And Donnie's up. Donnie Radical, who uh, is on the top ten in almost every batting category. Uh, I can't walk her because bases are loaded, so I have to pitch to her. Uh, unbelievable. Oh, my God. I don't want to pitch to her. This base is loaded. She could kill us. All right, I'm going to make a substitution pitcher. We're going to bring in Mason. All pitching, <sighs> Alexa Mason. Okay, Mason. You've got to get Donnie out here. we got to get a double play, actually. Oh, she took that. She watched a nice pitch come right in on her. It's a ball. She won't take that. Change up. Now we're going to give her a, a speed change. See if she sees it. She does. She hacks it off. Man, we're in deep trouble here, folks. No outs, bases loaded. The wills in front of our hometown team may fall off here. Oh, we got her. Hallelujah. We got Donnie. Whew. So I made the right move. I, I, I took out a continuing pitcher who's unloaded the bases. My uh, uh, bullpen decision paying off as she struck out Donnie at the plate. But again, we're still in a very dire situation with bases loaded. One hit. And they will score runs. And uh, it's a tight game. Short games, too. You can't afford to give up much here. 
Okay, I'm going to go with a power pitch on her hands. If we mess this up, it can be an ugly pitch. And it is an ugly pitch, but we got her. And now we're going to give her another two-finger two fastball. And she got kind of clipped it. And we're going to change up outside. And she swung on that. Jesus, that was a ball if I ever saw one. Power pitch, top right corner. And we got her. Hallelujah. Or got him, excuse me. Now back to second baseman. Number 76. Base is loaded with K2 in a row. So Mason, whose loyalty to us, by the way, is the second lowest on the team. I don't believe Mason will come back. Mason comes out of the bullpen and K's two batters with bases loaded. Uh, unbelievable performance for Mason right now, for Alexa Mason. I mean, this is gutsy. This is high-pressure gutsy stuff, and Mason is stepping in and K2 of the best hitters and may get us out of the most dangerous position we've been in yet bases loaded one hit and they're scoring yep they got it oh freddie missed our lee missed the dive they're gonna score two runs here i think three runs they can't score three they scored all three Shit. And that's the danger of bases loaded. One good out, uh, shot in the outfield. My brother made the leap for the ball, could not reach it, and all three made it in. Damn. So the Dice Fantastics, who lost to us three out of four games during the regular season, may beat us in the most important games of the year, the championship. I don't believe it. And we haven't seen Sam yet pitch. He'll pitch next game probably. Antoine had an RBI in this game. Dell, make that play, Dell. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Dell, throw home. One more, and Antoine's up. Antonio Laboy. Ball, it's on. Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> change up. Can he see the off speed? He can, and he clips it, but he doesn't get a hit. Oh, we got him. Hallelujah. We got out of that inning, but we gave up three-run hit. Ah, oh, my brother's a great defensive outfielder, but I just, we, he dove for a ball. It was just a little too far. If he had made that catch, though, it would have been the highlight of the game. Ah, oh, all right. Well, I'm taking her out now because, again, great place to replace pitchers. We're going to bring in the man. David is going to get a chance. We have to score runs. It's the top or the bottom of the third. Oh, no, right to first base. So David gets to pinch hit here and uh, gets the first out of the inning. We've got to score three runs just to stay in this ball game. Yep, that's going to get me on base. <sighs> Freddie's up behind me. So if Freddie can get a hit and move us around the bags, and then Dell, I know, not Dell, uh, Ron, uh, Ron and he's her clutch. I can't remember who replaced Dell in the third spot. Real worthy. Come on, Freddie. Just get us a hit. Oh, I was too fast on that. Too fast on that. Oh, shit. Yes, great shot. No, he made the play. I don't believe it, and, but I'm at second. So they moved me into scoring territory. Camelot replaced Dell in the cleanup spot. Let's see if she can bring me home. Can she drive in a run? It is interesting in the bottom of the uh, the last inning of the game. Oh, beautiful hit. And I won't be able to make it home, but I'm at the corner. So we're definitely now... All right, our cleanup, Ritworthy Gonzalez, league MVP, hit a home run already. He can drive in. He can tie the game with, the, with a home run here. Oh, that's a strike bullshit. He can tie the game with a home run. Okay, I'm saying that better be a ball. Oh, shit, we're in trouble. We have to swing at everything now. And a great shot's going to score us a run. All right, it's 4-2. Wow. We have cut the uh, deficit to two. All right, Lee. It's a chance for Lee to move a ba uh, batters around and preserve this rally. Get a hit, Lee. Get a hit. 
He, no, he's gonna. That's gonna end the inning right there. And four to two, though we have a half an inning left to make up. Uh, we're gonna put in Rossi. David comes out after a pinch hitting. We cannot give up any more runs. That's bottom line. So you're going to get more K's throwing strikes, but you also are going to give up a chance for them to hit anything and everything. And unfortunately, um, uh, now sometimes, of course, you create more ground balls and more pop-ups, but uh, you want to give them edgy pitches to force those kind of things. Oh, man, we made them walking. No, well, not yet. Oh, wild pitch. We walked shit. Rossi walked a runner on. We need to get out of this as fast as possible. Right, I'm going to give this guy one more batter, and then I have no choice but to sit in. Shit. Ah, well. Dang it. The pressure is full. Number 10, Taylor Goodwin. Oh, man, we're facing one of their top guys. Do I walk him? Do I dare walk this guy? Bases would be loaded if I walk. I can't do it. I'm going to have to pitch to him. Right on the edge, see if we can't get him to swing at some edgy pitches. Got him. Hallelujah. Two strikes, but two on. Oh, and Donnie's up again. Don Damn it. Look Radical. at her power. Donnie with a big, 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 big power. <sighs> oh, my God. This is nerve-wracking. My hands are sweating. Shit! And she's going to drive in more runs. I don't believe it. Pick it up, Lee. She's going to drive in more runs. Five to two. That means we have to score three in the bottom of the inning just to tie this game. Oh no! You've got to be kidding me, Freddie! Throwing for home to stop any more advancement. The second number seventy-six. All right, got to make another pitching change. This is ugly. Muscles, who also has four wins on the season, for the pitcher is amazing. Let's get him out, Muscles. Let's wrap this up. We need to score four runs just to win. Oh, shit. Oh. Curveball. Drop it in, Muscles. And then a fastball outside. Got him. Well, we have to score four to win the ball game. No, we have to score five to win. Four puts us into extra innings. Damn it to hell. I don't believe it. So Dell, he is a rally starter. He's one of his traits. I would love to get, I'd love to see him start us a lot with a big, yep, and he sure does. He gets us on base, so his rally trade. A nice uh, blooper into the middle of the short center field. Todd with a good power here. Dell on. This could cut the lead if he could crack one. Yep. And we're going to end up with two men on, no outs, early. So Dell's rally starter rating uh, looks like it's impacted those two at-bats. And Clutch. So we have an RBI hero in Ron with a Clutch rating. Ron could literally get this to within uh, one run with one big dinger. Nice. We're going to have bases loaded. Can you believe it? So a rally start. Now I see why they started everybody off in the lineup they did. Rally starter, then Todd, then Ron. And Leonidas Muscles is a pitcher. I don't want to take him out, but I'm not going to squander this with a pitcher batting. So we're going to bring in the power hitter without an out. Instante Shan is coming in. If this guy cracks a home run, boys, we have got a whole different ballgame here. Bottom. Nope, it's going to be a double play. 
damn, but we scored a run. Six to three. We need three more runs to tie it, and we're back to the top of the order. I have been hot in the last few games of the year. Oh, no. That's it. Game over. We're going to lose the first game of the series. Six to three to the damn Dice Fantastics. We beat them three games, in, out of three out of four games during the regular season, but in the most meaningful game of the year, or series of the year, they win 6-3. They got 10 hits. We got 10 hits, but we had an error. That was the uh, fielding error that uh, uh, my brother missed that ball, which they called an error. They obviously thought he could make that catch. Damn, what a game. First game, Calhoun gets the win, Yellow loses. We ended up with four pitchers in this game. Uh, Rentworthy, how about that? Home run to two RBIs. He gets first player of the game. Eric Rossi. And Donnie gets third player of the game. Unbelievable. And we are in a battle here, folks. So I, I said this would go five games. I mean, I said this going game... Uh, that based on our winning percentage against this team in the regular season, we might get this in five. Uh, but looking at the quality of the uh, teams, uh, I then suggested this might go all seven, and it, uh, it's going to probably have to for us to win this. That's unbelievable. Holy cow. Uh, no player development right now, although I have 103. I don't have enough money, so no player development. And uh, that was game one of the series, uh, game two coming up. And again, we're at home, thank gosh. We do have a balance, but we've already given that away. Sam is pitching against us in this game. Sam's velocity is really good. His junk is very good, and his, ex his uh, acceleration very good. He is an elite change-up pitcher, and he is consistent against our guy, Camden Manning. So Jeff is not starting in the first, three game, uh, first two games of this series. So we're saving Jeff for the first road game, maybe. So we're going to be facing Sam, and Sam has at his back a one-game advantage going into this. So I'm going to stop the video there, and tomorrow morning I'm going to try to complete the entire series in one video. So uh, this doesn't turn into a two-and-a-half-hour video. I'll do. Uh, I'll just complete the entire World Series tomorrow morning in one video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great, great week.